Hey guys, it's Dan here. I thought I'd make a quick video for some of my Explorer gear that I carry. And uh, here's my belt and all that good stuff. And we'll start off with the stuff that I always have with me. You'll never see me at an Explorer event or doing something Explorer related. Well, my knife, which I don't usually carry during competition, but it's always good to have, you know, when you're riding along or working at events and stuff like that. The first thing I carry right here is my pad. It's got everything you'll ever need in it, I think. You know, radio numbers, stuff like that. Then, of course, I have a, a knife right here with a... Uh, let me turn this flash off real quick. With a uh, seatbelt cutter, so you just tear it right into the seatbelt. And a glass breaker to pop some glass. And if you're in an accident or, or you arrive on an accident, and you don't have... The officer doesn't have the tool or, you know, something to help save lives, pretty much. This is a uh, uh, TAC Force Speedster. It's a spring-loaded knife. You see right there, there's a little plunger. It's a pretty big blade. It's about 20 bucks. I bought it at a gun show. Really good knife for the money, except you just got to tighten up the screws. And then I have a pen handcuff key right here. I like the pen handcuff keys better because uh, when they're when they're on your belt and just hanging there, they tend to make more noise and these are more quiet. Then I carry I carry more than one, but this is I carry the zebra pens because they look nice and they write really good. Uh, this is my underbelt. It's a 511 TDU belt. Uh, it's I like these better than the uh, Velcro ones. For for one reason, they just, if you have to take it off, the Velcro one just looks kind of stupid, in my opinion. Of course, I have my black Ac uh, Bianchi Acumold, uh keepers. Keep these for ride-alongs, my Oakleys. Really good sunglasses. Uh, these are my Asp Blue Identifiers. These are my, these are my first pair of Asps. And they are fantastic. I use these for ride-alongs because our dress uniforms are blue. So, and these are blue. So they look good with our uniforms. They're really great cuffs. They have the two keyholes, the multi-strike point. So, click it anywhere and it'll pr apply enough pressure to click the cuff on to, this, to the guy. So you don't have to, you know, worry about that. It'll at least be somewhat clicked up. Uh, really good cuffs. They're ex they're lightweight compared to the uh, regular Smiths. I have a pair of lighter handcuffs that you'll see later in the video. And I have a traffic cone. Once again, these these uh, handcuffs and this these this is stuff that I just keep for uh, ride-alongs or working events. You know, it's always good to have one of these because when you put one of these on. Let me get my flashlight out of, out of here. Sorry. I'm not good at doing this stuff one-handed. Once you just pop this on your light and pop that down, there's no reason they can't see that. Or especially when it's strobing. Strobe's a really nice function on this on this uh, flashlight. It's a really good flashlight. Really good thing but we'll talk more about that later uh, on my belt I carry the uh, I have a three point uh, cl clip I guess that's what I call it and uh, here we'll go left to right on here uh, right here it's always good to have the three point clip mainly because uh, with that there's it's really hard to accidentally uh, uh, unhook your belt these are the uh, asp ultra lightweight and wow these things are light like you wouldn't even know you're wearing them really they they they're they're really good handcuffs they're smooth they're a little bit pricey but they're really nice they're lightweight because when you're working in an event that lasts a long time or you're at a competition ounces equal pounds and pounds equals energy and you don't want to lose energy but so you want to save some weight 
you know, more officers. I do recommend these, especially and they and they have that cool tactical look because they're black. Goes good if, if you wear if you're like us and you wear all black gear. Yeah, looks pretty good. Right here, I have I have my uh, well. Here's the case that I have for my. Uh, oh, there it is. There's a case I have for my handcuffs. It's an ASP Federal case, the open top. Really good case. All you gotta do is lift and pull, or yeah, pull them up pretty much, and it'll unhook them. It provides a good amount of security, but uh, you know they're really good. The only bummer is you have to buy an ASP case with ASPs, or a a really big case, and I'd rather buy the ASP case. And of course, it has the the uh, well, no, y'all probably can't see it. It's upside down for y'all, but it's a it's a hidden key. In case you, for some reason, you lose your handcuff key, you got a backup one. And right here, I have my Bianchi Acumold uh, uh, flashlight holder for my Streamlight Stinger DS. This is the the Streamlight Stinger DS. It's a uh, it's got the the DS stands for dual switch because it's got a switch uh, right here at the back. How it turns it on. And you got the one up here that turns it on. It's really good to have because you know you never know what situation if you you'll have time to remember because most flashlights it's either right here or it's right here, right here, the button. And uh, I have it's rechargeable, so you'll save money on batteries. It's a little bit pricey, but just think you'll save money on batteries, and that might pay for itself if you use it quite a bit. You know, I just have a thing of a uh, glove case with gloves yeah yeah I don't think y'all need to see that y'all seen what gloves like gloves look like uh, right here I keep uh, Smith and Wesson model 100s the you know the absolute standard handcuffs I say if you're not gonna have asps you need to at least have a pair of Smiths really good reliable handcuffs you know they're most basic you can get I think and uh, they're really good. And last, but definitely not least, this is my uh, Blackhawk Serpa Level 3 2 retention holster. Don't know why it's a Level 3 and it only has two retentions. It doesn't make sense to me. But uh, what, it's whatever. It's got the button right here that would release the gun once this is unlocked. And to do that, you just push that and then you hit the button and then it's drawn uh, of course I have a Glock 22 red ass bread gun with a uh, hoe grip really good grip it's comfortable you got your gun out for a long time you want some comfortable and this this holster is really nice it's fast and compared to the uh, the level 3 safari lands it's a pretty good deal at ninety dollars compared to one hundred fifty, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, so this is my video. I hope I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, like it, subscribe it, subscribe to me, and uh, the more subscribers I get, the more reason I'll have to make some more videos. So see you guys. Stay safe out there and uh, keep exploring.